Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part two of a Legacy of the Bretons epilogue walkthrough. In the previous episode, um, Lady Arabelle Dubois here, she got really sick. She was poisoned. And we found out... We found out who the Ascendant Lord is. We found out that he had poisoned her, and he had poisoned another person, and uh, he's still at large, and we need to track him down. But she's better now. We found the antidote, and she's ready to give us another quest to do. I can't in good conscience start the peace talks while the Ascendant Lord, the man I knew was Lord Bakara, was out there doing who knows what. I'm afraid I need your help again, my friend. We must keep the Druid King's regalia out of Vaccaro's hands. Vaccaro already has the gauntlet, but Count Stefan and Druid Laurel have the crown and staff. And we must assume that Count Stefan and Druid Laurel are in danger. If Lord Vaccaro truly believes he's the heir to the ivy throne of the Druids, he'll stop at nothing to get his way. We must go to Galen and defend the remaining regalia. What do you need me to do? Druid Ravana and I will get Zaji to sail us to Galen. While we collect the staff from the Stone Lore Circle, I want you to go to Count Stefan and protect the Druid King's crown. We'll meet you at Castle Mornard as soon as we can. Okay, I'll head to Vastir and help Count Stefan. I'll leave Captains Kaleen and Suzo to guard the Alliance leaders while we go to Galen. First we protect the Regalia. Then we stop Lord Bukaro, or the Ascendant Lord, or whatever he calls himself. Now, get to Vastir and protect the crown. Why can't we just start the peace talks? Because we don't know how far-reaching Bakara's conspiracy is. The Alliance leaders are safe inside the palace, with their loyal captains watching over them. And we don't want them to hear of this betrayal yet. It would end the talks in a flash. What happens if Lord Bakara gets all three items of the Druid King's regalia? I don't really know. I'm not an expert on Druidic law and prophecy. According to what you and Ravana discovered, Bakaro believes he's a direct descendant of Kassarain, the last druid king. If he gains the regalia, he could make a claim for the title. And the druid circles would accept I him as their king? I never underestimate anything when it comes to religious fervor, my dear. If nothing else, his connection to this legacy gives him a legitimate claim to power through his mother's bloodline. And many might see the ivy throne as preferable to the ruby one. How are you feeling, Lady Arabelle? Did the Druid antidote Ravana's work? Ravana's elixir has done wonders. I feel stronger already. Still, I was weak from the poison for a long time. I expect my recovery will be slow but persistent. Don't worry, dear. I'll leave the dangerous work to you and Ravana for now. Okay, you better. Alright, so let's go to Vastir in Galen, and uh, we'll talk to Count Stefan. Yeah. I'm going to stop by the uh, stables here. I don't play this character very often, but when I do, I always try to make sure I go if to the stage and upgrade and his him. mount. Yeah. All right, let's just take let's just take the way shrine here, and teleport over to Galen. See, this is telling me to go outside of the city. Well, that's strange. I thought she said to go to Vastir. Um... Alright, I'm just gonna go to this Wait, Shrine, I'm just going to follow the instructions, because I don't know. It's not really giving me a clear answer as to where 
Count Stefan is. No, it's telling me to go back. As a matter of fact, I think I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I haven't left the map yet. Maybe that's the problem. Let's see. No, it's still it's still telling me to go back that way. Is it just gonna send me on a wild goose chase? No, now it's Okay, it must be at the docks. I've gotta go to the docks. Did you hear? I knew it. This was all the fault of those damn druids. Well, some druids. But Count Stefan and that hero from the no. mainland saved us. Or no, I'm going up to the, um... All the death and destruction, but... The palace. Something worse is coming, Feta. I feel it too. Like a dark storm on the Castle palace. Mornard. Not the palace, the castle. Getting it mixed up Search with the Dark castle. Fallon If there Bay are more castle. rogue knights, I want them in chains. We routed them from the library, oh, but I'll make sure nothing was damaged or stolen. What's going on, Count? I'm glad to see you again, friend. I just wish your arrival didn't coincide with another crisis. What's the going on, Count Stefan? The from the Society of the Steadfast entered the castle. Not in and of itself a concern, we are allies after all. But we weren't informed of a visit. When one of my knights saw them go into the library, she went to investigate. She what discovered them find? ransacking the library. They attacked her, but she was able to fend them off and summon help. My knights routed the villains, but we're unsure if anything was stolen, or if there are more of them hiding elsewhere in the castle. It could be the Ascendant Order. They recently stole armor the from the Society. Order. The rogue knights that gave you trouble back on High Isle. What would they be seeking in my castle? We discovered that Lord Bakaro is their Ascendant Lord. He wants the Druid King's Those regalia. Those must have been looking for the Druid King's crown. Come, we need to check the library at once. And later, I want to hear more about your accusations concerning Lord Bakaro. Don't tell me you put the crown I in the library. I assumed be safe enough locked in a case in the library until I could make other arrangements. Oh. We had no reason to believe the relics were in danger. Besides, I only returned to the castle a moment before you arrived. Where were you when the, the intruders arrived? the docks preparing arrived? to receive Lord Bacaro's ship and the relief supplies he promised. It never arrived. I suppose that was all part of the ruse based on what you just told me. Now, let's go make sure the crown is still safely locked away. The library is I'm this I'm sure way. it isn't. I'm sure they've gotten the crown. They it's ran a disaster the area. Let's see if the case is still here. You're too late, Don't fools. Thunder it. The crown belongs to the Ascended Order now. Player? Really? That is an awesome costume. How do I get that costume? No, the case is empty. But how do they know to search the library, let alone behind the shelves? Did you tell Lord Bacaro to that that's where it was? They stole the crown right out of my own castle. How is this possible? You said Lord Bacaro was behind this. I think you better tell me what you know. Lord Bacaro is the Ascendant Lord. He believes he's the descendant of if the last druid. If you go back druid far king. enough, most Bretons have a druid hiding somewhere in their bloodline, but 
So many records have been lost. How could he be certain? Regardless, why the ruse with the peace talks and the Ascendant Order? He wants to be crowned as the new Druid King. Replace the Ruby Throne with the so Ivy Karl Throne. was behind it all. The attempts on the yep. lives of the Alliance leaders, the death of the Arch Druids of Raval and my father. Wait, Druid Laurel! The staff, Laurel and Free, are in danger! Lady Arabelle has gone to the Stone Lore encampment Orlaith to warn Druid Laurel. may have believed Laurel. in a new age, but Bakaro is leading us toward the Green Scourge. King Kassarain's prophecy of the return of the Druid King, it predicts two possibilities, either an era of peace and harmony, or a time of nature run amok. Go to Glimmertarn and make sure Laurel and the staff are safe. I'll gather what knights I can spare. See if Captain Surivane is willing to aid us once more. I have a feeling we'll need all the help we can get to stop Bakaro and his Ascendant Order. Captain Siravang is still on is the island? is a mercenary, but she and her Gilded Blade proved themselves trustworthy against the Dread Sails and the Fire Song. Since then, we've been paying her to help with the relief efforts. We needed every ship we could hire. Ferrying supplies and the wounded is one thing. Will she agree to fight alongside us again? I will know until I ask. And if she refuses, you'll still have House Mornard at your side in the battle to come. Now hurry, my friend. Go make sure the Staff and Druid Laurel are safe. I'm going. Um, so, if you didn't watch the Fire Song walkthrough, or if you didn't play it, Arnoit and Lisette, The Truth, by Jacques Dufort. How considerate of Madame Pajaud to take every word from her exhaustive interviews regarding my ancestors and promptly throw them aside to craft her own fanciful romance. It's abominable what she's done to what is very clearly a cautionary tale based on a legacy of very real generational pain. I am writing this account to set the record straight on the most egregious of Madame Pajol's liberties taken in The Tempest and the Sunflower. The account that follows are details of the story of Arnaud de Fort, my ancestor, and Lisette Mornard, his lover, allegedly, as I heard it from my parents, who were told by their parents, and so on, until one reaches the family to whom this tragedy actually happened. Describing Arnoit as the golden son of shipbuilders is, I'm sorry to say, where the accuracies in this tale end. The book paints Lisette Mornard as this impossibly radiant creature. Clever, brave, skilled as a knight, and a martyr for love. Is she all things to all people? It's our first hint that this is a clear work of fiction, with no attempt to hide Madame Pajol's obvious bias in favor of the Mornard family. You know, I think maybe we've read this before. Um... I'm pretty sure I read this in an earlier episode. So, this is pages 1 and 2, 3 and 4, if you want to pause it and read it now, but I think I've read it in a previous, uh, previous episode. Uh, anyway, if you didn't watch the Fire Song walkthrough, or play Fire Song, um, Druid or Lathe wanted to become the new Druid King. And that whole storyline involved us trying to stop her. So you have to get these three artifacts in order to become the new Druid King, and you need Free. Uh, Free is this nature creature. You need him to help you. So we stopped her. We stopped her in the previous... Yeah. Storyline, but now it turns out the Ascendant Lord himself, Lord Vaccaro. Do I need to eat something? I do. Lord Vaccaro is, uh, he's gonna try to become the Druid King himself. So we're not done with people trying to become the. Everybody wants to be the Druid King. Nobody wants to be the Druid. What do you call people below the king? Can't remember. Anyway, where am I going next? Right, Glimmer Tarn. We've got to go see if we can help Druid Laurel. Druid Ken! Oh, thank Ifray you're here. Something terrible has happened. This way! Uh. I saw her before I saw you, and you're telling me about her? Rot and damnation. Lord Bakaro, he betrayed us. 
Tell me everything Lord that happened, Carl Laurel. And a contingent of steadfast knights arrived with their usual crates of supplies. He took me aside, warned me that the Ascendant Order was after the Druid King's regalia. He wanted to make sure the staff was still safe. Uh, what well, did you did do I, then? But I did just what you'd expect. He's our ally. Yep. Or I thought he was. I showed him that the staff was safe, and he grabbed it. Ordered his knights to hold us back. He has all three of the regalia, friend. All three. Yeah, I figured that. We then tried what to happened, resist, Laurel? But we were no match for his knights. Then Bakaro displayed the regalia, proclaimed himself the Druid King, and commanded Free to follow him. And they did. That's when Lady Arabelle arrived. Yep. Wait, Stefan, is he all right? Count Stefan is fine. Where's as Lady Arabelle now? As soon as Arabelle I explained now? what happened, Lady Arabelle and her companions went after Bakaro. I told them we saw him leading free toward Ifre's path. I stayed behind to tend to the wounded. But this smacks of the Green Scourge. I'll go with you. Any idea why Lord Bakaro would take free to how Ifre's path? How should I path? know how that blighter thinks? Lady Arabelle told me that he's the Ascendant Lord, which now makes sense. As soon as he revealed his treachery, his knights threw off their cloaks and revealed themselves to be the Ascendant Order. You said he claimed to be the new Druid King. What Not happens sure. now? Other than Orlaith, no one else has ever attempted to claim the title. At least not to my knowledge. Is it enough to just possess the regalia? Is that why he needs free? To legitimize his claim? I'm not sure. Still, this is bad. You know, I thought that whole time, when we were playing through Firesong, that Free was going to end up turning against us. And it ended up that he didn't. But guess what? Now Free is turning against us, just like I thought. Bad in and what way, way, Laurel? Everything I know tells me the Druid King can command nature. Wield it like a tool or a weapon. If the title is taken by force, the prophecy tells us it begins an age of destruction. The Green Scourge. Tell me more about it's the Green the Scourge. Of Kasserain, the prophecy of the Druid King. One choice, one will, one binding word shall bless or scourge all lands. Since those lines were carved into the telling stone, they've become the basis for our two possible futures. And those two possible futures are? The blessing of are? the green reward, or the curse of the green scourge. One ushers in an age of harmony with nature. The other predicts a world under siege by an angry and vengeful wilderness. Two possibilities. One Druid King. And what determines which of these two futures comes about? The Druids have about? argued about that for generations. From what you found at Ivyhame, it's clear Kasserain believed the reward would come when the Circles reunited and selected a new king, while a usurper would summon the Scourge. A tyrant like Bakaro. We lost Great. Bakaro in Ifrae's path. Lady Arabelle is still out there. Thank you, Nairon. The druid Ken and I will take it from here. Just what we need, some kind of nature-based cataclysm. The green scourge. It's gonna blight everyone. Yeah. Even worse, I guess, than what Orlaith was doing. I kind of feel like Orlaith really couldn't have become the druid king, even if she had tried. Five claw off, and the moons. The others followed Lord Bakaro. Go and help them. Lady Arabelle is very brave. Barely recovered from nearly dying, and already chasing villains into a desolate and scary valley. Hurry, Five Claw. You must go help her. Why are you out here alone, Zaji? Zaji? Decided to, uh, to, to wait out here for you, Five Claw. Yes, yes, Zaji waited to direct you. It is easy to get lost in such places, yes? Lady Arabelle followed the Ascendant Lord. Uh, should Zaji call him that now? Druid Laurel and I will find oh, him, Zaji. Thank you, Five Claw. Zaji will go back to the Druid village and wait for you there. Uh, look for Kaska. She is a great tracker. If she hasn't found Bakaro yet, she will shortly. Yeah, I feel like uh, Lord Bakaro, he has they went this the way. blood of the Druid King. He's a descendant of 
King Kasserain. And so he could actually fulfill the prophecy. That's why Free is doing what he wanted. Good to Look, smell your eyes. Whereas the Burlake, the Lady thinks Makaro came here for a purpose. He's not far ahead. Rivana told me to wait here. She wanted to make sure that Druid Laurel or whoever came after us knew where to go. She doesn't know what the Ascendant Lord is up to exactly, but she's sure he came to this place for a reason. So where are Lady Arabelle and Druid west Rivana? and followed Bakaro into Ifre's path. Bakaro left some knights behind to slow us down, but I took care of them. Did you happen to see Zaji on your way here? Yes. He decided to head now back to Glimmerton. Now that you're here, I'll head back too. I could be more helpful at the Druid village than in a cramped cavern. You might not believe this, but sometimes my size can be a hindrance. <laughs> Just make sure to bite Picaro a few times for me. Okay, I'll... Well, I won't bite him, but... The ruins okay. on the western wall of the Hollow. That's got to be where everyone headed. There's a Druid ahead. Yeah. There's also some giant mosquitoes. You were amazing! Thank Over here, you, my Amber. friend. Lady Arabelle followed them through that door. Lady Arabelle said you'd find us. Told me to wait here and point the way. She followed Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord, through that door over there. Go help her. I'm still not sure she's fully recovered from the effects of the poison. Zaji and Casca said you might know why Bakaro has Just come to this speculation, location. really. Ifray's path is a sacred place, and such locations contain power if you know how to draw upon it. Bakaro is going to need all the power he can get if he wants to press his claim as the Druid King. The Stone Lore Circle, at least, will never accept his claim. Not unless forced to. Not to mention the three alliances. Bakaro is going to need more than the regalia and his small army of knights to accomplish his ultimate goal. To rule all of Tamriel. All of Tamriel? That's quite a goal. How is Lady Arabelle doing, She's definitely doing on the mend, but she should be resting. Running after the so-called Ascendant Lord can be hazardous to her condition in a number of ways. Go after her, my friend. Keep her safe and deal with Bakaro before things get worse. I mean, I thought he just wanted to rule the High Isles and Galen, but you're telling me he's trying to take over all of Tamriel? Good all luck with that. All these plans were recently torn away. This door must have been hidden for ages. This section of Ifer's path has been sealed away for centuries. Few druids alive today. Don't know what the rest of it said. That's Lady Arabelle. What's she doing? Careful, dears, and watch where you step. Now, don't be alarmed, dear, but I happen to have stepped where I shouldn't have. I suppose I owe Druid Ravana an apology. The lingering effects of the poison do seem to have made me somewhat discombobulated. What did you step A on, Lady Arabelle? I think. Some sort of trap put here who knows when and by who knows who. That can wait, though. I followed Lord Bakaro in here. He met with a group of druids. Firesong, I think. He promised them vengeance against the Stone Lord. What about Free? The were they with spirit? him? Yes, they were here. I couldn't quite tell if they were a prisoner or not. Bakaro did say he needed them to talk to Ifray's path, whatever that means. You need to go after them, my dear. What about you? We need to get you off that pressure plate. Oh, play. I agree. But that's not going to be done quickly. And as long as I remain in place, we are all perfectly safe. You go on ahead. Druid Laurel can stay here and help me disarm this insidious contraption. All right. I'll go after Lord Bakaro and Free. Arabelle. Let me see what I can do. Not a muscle, dear lady. Go, my friend. Find Bakaro and Free. All right, I hope she can help her. Don't let them reach the ritual site. Fire song allies. With 
Okay, well, at least free. Looks like free hasn't uh, betrayed us. Ow. Oh, it didn't even hit me. It looked like it hit me. to examine these carvings. All right, I guess they figured out how to disarm it. Damn my clumsiness. If not for the fact that we were delayed by that trap, we could have been here to help you with that creature. Then maybe Lord Bakaro wouldn't have I been able to slip away. Bakaro summoned that spirit to destroy the Stone Lord Druids hmm. and to deal with us. I assume this was at least in part a test of sorts, to see if he could actually call forth a spirit and command it. Plus, he wanted to prove to his followers that he is worthy of the Druid King's regalia. Where do you think Lord Bakaro went? Somewhere he can further strengthen and consolidate his power, especially since he knows we're on to him. Druid Laurel is examining the stone carvings. Perhaps they can tell us something. Take a look and talk to her, dear. These carvings tell an interesting okay. story. Take a look, my friend. Um... Okay. This I don't know carving what that shows is. the Druid King binding a spirit into Mount Firesong. I don't see anybody that looks like a king in that. But okay, if you say so. Is it on the opposite side, maybe? No, it's just a blank wall on the opposite side. I guess she could read it as like hieroglyphics or something? This carving depicts the spirit slumbering within the volcano. See the Druid King's regalia? Yeah, I guess I do. It's the three pieces. Um. It's telling me to look at the same one over again. This no, carving a indicates one. a possible Sorry. future. See how the spirit awakens and the volcano erupts? It's a warning. I always say, when someone gives you a warning, it's best to take heed. Uh, yeah, we don't want that I giant volcano exploding. Warning, especially one written in stone. Talk to Druid Laurel and see if she can tell us more about these carvings. Ancient Druids called upon the spirits of the green at their own peril. Only the Druid King was ever able to do so safely. It's why we abandoned the practice long ago. This is where they did it. At least where some of them did it. What do you think the stone carvings like are meant so to tell us? Like so much of the ancient knowledge that remains. These carvings are open to interpretation. Obviously, we can see the spirits of the green. Forces of nature in the bosom of Ifray. Then we see a spirit slumbering beneath Mount Firesong. The way Free slumbered before the Fire Song Very awakened much them? So. And the spirit must be extremely powerful due to how sacred Mount Fire Song is. I think that's what the final carving tells us. Let the sleeping spirit lie. For generations, that's been one of the Fire Song's primary purposes. What do you I think, think all this means? I think plans to call forth the spirit of Mount Fire Song with the Druid King's regalia. 
With a spirit of that magnitude, the armies of Tamriel won't stand a chance. Go to Vastir, and tell Stefan to prepare his ships. We must go to Iphalon. If we're going to stop Okoro, we're going to need help. Go to Castle Mornard and rally Count Stefan's knights. I'll make sure the rest of us are ready. Okay, I'll do it. Alright, what's the fastest way? I guess I need to go on up here, see if I can get back to Glimmertorn, take the Way Shrine from there, head to Castle Mernard. I knew it. This was all the fault of those damn druids. Well, some druids. But Count Stefan and that hero from the mainland saved break. us. Well, at least House Mornard finally accomplished something. Alright, we've already heard that gossip. Troubles were over after all the death and destruction, but something worse is coming, Feta. I don't seem to be I making much too. progress. Like a dark storm on the horizon. I'm worried, Feta. I don't think Galen's troubles are over. It's not over. Why don't y'all help me? Be wary, friend. The islands grow angry. Something tries to fully awaken Mount Firesong, and I fear what consequences that will bring. The Ascendant Order on Galen? Hard to believe. Then again, I've seen dragons in Elsewhere and dark anchors in High Rock, so I suppose anything is possible. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they should come help me if they're worried about this stuff, but instead they're just standing around talking. Figures. I hope you'll reconsider. This threat endangers us all. The Gilded Blades aren't mercenaries to call on to clean up your mess, Count Stefan. I was afraid she's going to say that. They're pirates, not mercenaries. I and mean, they don't want to get involved Can't in fighting as soldiers. Eating? It isn't often I get to feast on fresh food. Go talk to the Lordling. He wants to speak to you. Well, don't get mad at me. I'm not... My knights one... are ready, but Captain Sirivain isn't convinced she wants to join us in this particular fight. But never mind that. Is Druid Laurel all right? Is the Sacred Staff safe? Laurel is fine, but Lord Bacaro has all three regalia and free. We think they're headed Damn to Damn it all to oblivion. At least Laurel is all right. I've assembled what knights I can spare, but we could really use Suravain and the Gilded Blades. Maybe you can convince her to help. Ugh, I'll talk to Captain Suravain. I appreciate it. I've been banging my head against that particular wall for hours now. Remind her that if Lord Bacaro takes control of the archipelago, any safe ports she has on Galen will evaporate like a drop of water in a hot skillet. I can never get enough of the food you landbound eat. It's so... delicious. The Lordling sent you over to convince me to help, didn't he? My answer is the same. Why should I care about your political drama? Lord Bacaro has declared himself the new and Druid King. that concerns me how, exactly? If druids want a king or not, that's their business, not mine. Sea Lord Nalos was my problem, and I took care of it. What happens on Galen next doesn't matter to me. We helped you defeat Sea Lord Nalos and get Just your crew and ship back. because our purposes aligned once doesn't mean we'll sail side by side forever, mercenary. We both wanted Nalos dead, and now he is. That was a win for both of us. I'd need a more compelling reason to risk my crew again. How's this? If Lord Bacaro and his allies take control, no port in the islands will be that safe for you. That is certainly something I hadn't considered. I do like the safe haven that the Lordling has provided us with. And what was that about allies? Bacaro is working with the Fire Song? All right. You convinced me. 
My ship is yours, for now. I knew you'd right, come around, great. Sirvain. Let's meet at the Vastir docks. I don't blame her for being skeptical, really. I mean, she kind of got roped into this. This wasn't why she was here in the first place. How do I get to the docks? I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. It's good to see you, dear. And is that Count Stefan? Glad House Mornard could join us, Your Excellency. Captain Zaji's ship is ready to sail. Next stop, Ifalon. You'd rather sail with that puny cat on a sorry excuse for a fishing scow. Suit yourself. If it actually survives the voyage, we'll see you on Ifalon. Okay, okay. My particular skills are more toward healing than battle. But I'll do whatever I can to help you stop Lord Bakaro. I'm worried about Free, and what Lord Bakaro may be doing to them. The sooner we can get to Ifalon, the better as far as I'm concerned. Uh, who else? Who else is here? Casca? I don't know a lot about druids and spirits, but I do know how to fight. I'll be with you every step of the way, Five Claw. You can count on me. Great. What about Druid you, Saji? said something about... Uh, fighting an angry volcano spirit. <laughs> she was joking, yes? Right. Please she walk was her. not joking, Tell Captain Zaji that we will not be sailing the ponds too close to the volcano. This one would rather We're not going see there. his beloved ship go up in flames. It might. It might go up in flames, but we're going to try not to let that happen. Well, here we are, right in the middle of a story that might be too outrageous for even Investigator Vale to tackle. Luckily, we have you. I still can't truly believe it. Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord. Let's get aboard the skiff and go, dear. All right, let's go. Oh, I... Here's a second level here. Here's the skiff. I think this is the first time we've Come seen here. the outside we have of plans to make. Laurel, Ravana, and I talked during the voyage. If Lord Bakaro truly means to awaken the spirit of the volcano, he's going to need to do it from inside Mount Firesong. And since he knows we're coming, he'll throw everything he has in our way. So what do you propose, Slight Lady of hand, Arno? my dear. Count Stefan and Captain Siravain landed farther up the beach, while our allies draw attention at the main entrance, you and I will follow in their wake and find another way into the mountain. Do you know of another Laura entrance we wasn't can use? Sure, but she thinks she remembers a cave to the right of the main entrance. Let's search around. If nothing else presents itself, we'll see where that cave leads. All right. You brought some supplies, good. The Ascendant Order's forces pulled back to the main entrance into the mountain. Siravain and her pirates went after them. We arrived before your ship and took the lead. Lady Arabelle wanted us to clear a path and we've done what we can. We ran into a large contingent of Ascendant Knights. Siravain and the Gilded Blades chased them back to the main entrance. Okay, I'm going. Yeah. I think... 
think I vaguely remember this part of the island. Like, maybe we did do this part. Seems like I remember rescuing somebody right here. And then, like, we went around the side, and that's where the main entrance was? I can't remember. Oh boy, here it goes. These Ascendant Order oh, Barnacles are cowards. They flee at the first sign of a worthy opponent. I assumed these Ascendant Order Knights were going to provide a challenge, but they ran the moment we began to cut them down. They did mention the Ascendant Lord, though. He's definitely inside the mountain. Captain Siravane, I was about to chop off your head until I realized it was you. <laughs> I had my sword out. I was ready to go. Wait, that's Captain Survey. <laughs> oh, empty backpack. I think that's the door the we went in, Lord so now we're going to go should further. Be just ahead. The cave Laurel suggested. It must be behind those vines. Mount Firesong. Mount Firesong rises above the island of Ephelon, but its influence extends to every corner of the archipelago. And I'm not just talking about the volcanic activity. The mountain is sinking to the be they Stone Lore, Elder Tide, or Fire Song. This tunnel cuts deep into the mountain. Hopefully, it will lead us to Lord Bacaro. Fire Song Druids, proceed with caution, dear. The Druid King calls forth the spirit of the volcano. Soon, our enemies will perish in lava and flame. Bacaro is started. We have to hurry. Alright, I'm hurrying. Oh, I thought that thing was dead. Over there, that's Druid Laurel's nature spirit. We have to help them. Uh, okay, let's help them. Don't stop, my brothers and sisters. The spirit of the volcano stirs. Hey, 
Shadow Spirit has awakened. Wind Vortex. Must summon. Keep them back while I sing. The lava is rising. We don't have much time. The color is stopping you. What we have this to do? to explore. When Mount Firesong erupts, many lives will be lost. Lava will consume the archipelago. Promises ignored. The false king must pay. Lord Bakaro wields the Druid King's regalia with such force I could not resist his commands. He forced me to awaken the mountain spirit, but he is not the true Druid King. Not until the three circles become one and proclaim him as such. All right, let's stop him. I'm glad Free didn't betray us. Apparently he was under a uh, magical spell. I have to kill the ads first. It's immune until I kill the ads.
We both want the same thing. An end to this stupid war and something better than the Ruby Throne. The spirit is too powerful. Once unleashed, it cannot be controlled. Spirit of Mount Fire Song, lend me your strength. Give me the power to destroy my enemies. I am Lord Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord, the Druid King. Soon, the Alliances will be nothing but cinders and ash! We join with the Spirit! Now the volcano will follow its nature! It will explode! Over here, I will summon another Wind Vortex. Step into the wind before the lava consumes us. Where's the Wind Vortex? Oh, okay. The spirit has been restrained for too many seasons. It wants to unleash the full power of the volcano. The false king awakened and unleashed the spirit of the mountain. He draws upon its power. Soon, nothing will be able to stop the eruption. We must hurry. Well, what's the point in hurrying? I mean, it looks like... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Okay, I, I didn't expect that to happen. I mean, he's merged with the spirit. He's just gonna kill everybody now. What's what's the point? Time to bring the lightning. Killed my bear. The fire of the mountain. I need energy to help you. Destroy the shards and I will absorb your essence. The wind vortex is ready. All 
already? Ember, keep going. Don't give up. He's gonna kill my bear again. Destroy the shards and I will dissolve your essence. Got him down to 16%, 15. Oh, I almost jumped in too soon there. Kano has no spirit to calm it now. The False King is gone, but so is the spirit of the mountain. Without a spirit to calm it, Mount Firesong's rage will continue unchecked. Isn't there Perhaps any way to stop it? If the balance is restored, a new spirit must fill the void in Mount Firesong's heart. I will be that spirit. What does that it mean? It means for you? I will calm the volcano before it destroys the archipelago. Attempt to contain most of the damage to Iphalon. But I will need your help, friend of Laurel. Friend of Free. What Place do you need the me regalia to, do? to form a circle around me. Then command me to bind myself to the mountain. You are not the Druid King. But with the regalia and my willingness, the binding should hold. Then I will do what I can to quiet the volcano. What happens to you after I that? I will remain, free? but I will be different. As the seed becomes a tree, I shall become the spirit of the mountain, and I will slumber as will Mount Firesong. Now take the crown and the gauntlet and place them around me. I'll do as Quickly, you ask, friend, free. Place the gauntlet and crown to form a ritual circle. Spirit of Mount Firesong. Now the volcano will be still. Goodbye, friend. And thank you. What in the world just happened? That did not sound good. You made Zaji's heart skip a bit, yes? The volcano erupted, but except for the top of the mountain, Iphalon is intact. I very much want to hear what happened, dear. Did the mountain switch you out? Is that how you got back here? Is that even possible? Ah, uh, if only Zaji knew more about the workings of volcanoes. No, it's magic. It's, it's magic, Zaji. Tell Lady Arabelle your story first, my friend. I can wait to hear the details. I'm glad to see you, friend. But where is Free? No, talk to Lady Arabelle. Tell her what happened and the rest of us will listen in. How did you manage to calm the spirit of the mountain, my friend? And how did you contain the volcano's eruption? The damage should have been much greater. Go on, talk to Lady Arabelle. I can't wait to hear what happened over there. 
You're here and the volcano has calmed down. I guess that means you also dealt with this Lord Baccaro that everyone has been so concerned about. Good. I got everyone back to the ship before the volcano. Ah, uh, that's a weird angle. Let's see if I can I do this. I got everyone back to the ship before the volcano fully erupted. But even so, I'm surprised we're all still alive. Care to enlighten us about what happened inside Mount Firesong, dear? I defeated Lord Bakaro, but Free took the place of the Mountain Spirit. They contained Free the eruption. Free was able to contain all that power. They saved the archipelago, the Alliance leaders, all of us. But where's Free now? Why didn't they return with you? You said they took the place of the Spirit. What does that mean? I'm not sure, but I don't think Free is coming back. They're part of Mount Firesong oh, now. Oh, poor Free. Their sacrifice saved us all. I'll remember them fondly for that. And you're sure Lord Bukaro is defeated? Without their leader, his ascendant order should fade away. But what happened to the Druid King's regalia, dear? Free used the regalia to bind themselves to the mountain. I think it was destroyed it's by the just volcano. just as well. As long as the Druids remain divided, they aren't ready for a new king. And I'm not sure how Emmerich and the others would react to another royal in their midst. Well... Talk to our friends, dear. Then we should return to Bastille. Okay, now they're gonna talk to me, all right? That's a whale of a story, mercenary. But I think I prefer having you with me than against me. So, at least for now, you have the respect of the Gilded Blades and their captain. What happened to the Gilded Blades in your ship? Why are you on the The Gilded the Blades counts? handled themselves well, as always. And when Lady Arabelle sounded the warning, we headed to the nearest ship and set sail. For me, that happened to be this one. And your spirit friend decided to stay behind? Is that true? Yes. Free chose to stay behind and contain That's the volcano. intense. Can't say I'd have done the same, but I can respect someone willing to give up their life to save others. It isn't particularly the Sea Elf way, but still. I think I'll drink to free whenever I sail past the mountain. Me too. Oh, what a season this has been, my friend. The Ascendant Order, rogue druids, a false druid king, and an ancient nature spirit. All because of a prophecy most of my people barely remember. <laughs> I'm just glad you were here to help set things right. Yeah. I wish I could have been there with you when you took down Bakaro. I really wanted to rip into him and see what a traitor tastes like. Maybe next time. Yes. Yes, there will definitely be Let's ne next time. Let's hope that with Bakaro dead, what remains of the Ascendant Order and the last of the Firesong Rebels will no longer be a threat. Now, go talk with our companions, my dear. They want to have a word with you before we return to Galen. Sachi could get used to this hero business. If only it paid better. Oh well. When you're done talking to everybody, let Zaji know and we'll sail back to Vastir. Okay. I'm sorry we couldn't figure another way to get out of this. Free shouldn't have had to sacrifice themselves to save the rest of us. I'm just glad you stopped Bakaro. Now maybe we can finally start to rebuild Galen. I'm a little sad about Free, but, uh... Really, I think it was, like, Free's destiny to do this all along, so... Uh, I have kind of mixed feelings about it. It was Free's choice. They made the decision and asked me to help them see all it through. All this death and destruction because Bakaro wanted to dig up some ancient Breton legacy. If I learned anything from my time with the Druids... It's that they don't need a king or a prophecy to make the world a better place. They just need to do it. So you don't believe in the legacy don't of the Bretons? Silly. Of course I do. But that legacy isn't crowns and gauntlets. It's people. Born of humans and elves to become something altogether new. It's magic, druids, and knightly orders. That's the Breton legacy I believe in. It's the best of us. I'm glad you were with Free inside the mountain, my friend. I'll never forget what they did to save us all. Is Free gone for Free good, Free isn't Laura? gone, friend. 
They've just become something more. As a tree yeah. grows from seed to sapling to massive oak, so too has Free transformed. They're still with us, asleep in Mount Firesong, keeping us safe from the power of the volcano. But will we ever Whenever see Free you want again? To see Free, just look toward Mount Firesong. They're a part of it now. The spirit of the mountain. I need to tell the druids what happened here. Let them learn the last lesson the sower had to teach us. Sacrifice. Okay. Let's get out of here. Says a return to Castle Mornard. Way up the road here. With the knife she was, and didn't let me forget it. Did you hear? I knew it. This was all the fault of those damn druids. Well, some druids, but Count. I thought our troubles were over after all the death and destruction, but something worse is coming, Feta. I feel this it too. No, it's not. We stopped it. Dark storm on the horizon. Over here, my dear. Count Stefan and I have something for you. You're really making a habit out of saving the archipelago, and of aiding me. Thanks to you, we revealed Lord Bakaro as a traitor, saved the islands from an erupting volcano, and ended the threat of the false druid king. Well done, my dear. What about the Ascendant Order, Don't Lady Don't worry Arabel. about them. Without a leader, they'll quickly fade away. Now we just need to proceed with the peace talks. We're back on track and the archipelago is safe thanks to you. Now take this. Count Stefan and I wanted you to have it. We did well, dear. But the work... We finally have a moment to think. Right. But there's still work to do. Galen and the entire archipelago owe you a debt, my friend. That is the only way I can... You have my thanks. The druids will never forget what you and Free did to save us. Got the Druid King Slayer achievement. Uh, can I talk to them now? What amazing things you accomplished, friend. You saved the leaders of the alliances, stopped the Ascendant Order, defeated the Fire Song, killed Lord Bakaro, and calmed the volcano. What will you do next, I wonder? Try to bring peace to Tamriel. Try to end the Three Banners so War. So much death and destruction over a few ancient words carved into stone. I longed to learn the truth of the last Druid King, but now... Thanks for all your help, friend. I just wonder if the Druid Circles can recover from these events. You're a strange one, mercenary. You help a Sea Elf enact revenge with one hand and smite an evil Druid King with the other. Not to mention, saving the islands from the volcano. I'm not sure what they feed you here on dry land, but I want some. You already ate some earlier. Don't act like you don't know what they feed us. Zaji is proud to have played a part in defeating the Ascendant Lord and saving the sisters. Oh, not as large a part as you, Five Claw, but Zaji had a significant role just the same. Yeah, you, you standed around, stood around and made everyone laugh. All right, get ready. I don't do this very often, so pay attention. You did good, Five Claw. I am proud to Thanks. have fought by your side, and I'm even prouder to call you my friend. That's it, enough. If I get any more sentimental, I may start crying. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Druid Ravana. You did so much for the islands, for the Druids. I'll never forget how you saved us all. Thank you. My friend. All right. Uh, that was it for this episode. In the next one, I assume we're going to try to help organize the peace talks, which may finally happen. I'm sure there won't be peace, but uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you next time.